So I mentioned earlier that hypothesis testing involves five steps, or at least that's how I've broken down the procedure. What I want to do now is just walk you through very briefly what are the five steps of hypothesis testing. And this will follow along with some information that I've included for you this week, something that I call the bear handout. I call this for two reasons. One is because of our alma mater and our, the mascot for our university being the bear. Uh, but the other reason is really because uh, there's a bear on the cover of the handout. Let's call it the bear handout. In this handout, you're going to find the steps of hypothesis testing with a little more detail. Uh, and it also is something that you can take with you as you move on to other classes. If you end up taking uh, another statistics course, this might be something that will be useful for you in the future. So let's walk through what are those five steps of hypothesis testing. Step number one, select the appropriate statistic. It's important that we know what type of test we're going to run. And to understand what type of test we will use, we'll have to begin by looking at our data. We'll want to look at the levels of the data. We'll want to identify the independent and dependent variables. Is the independent variable categorical or continuous? Is the dependent variable nominal, ordinal, interval, or ratio? In one example, if we have a categorical independent variable with groups and a continuous dependent variable, we can do things like a z-test or a t-test. And those are the tests that we're going to learn about next week. Step number two, select an, a null and alternative hypothesis. And I'm going to spend a lot of time today talking about null and alternative hypotheses, how we select them using a one-tailed test or a two-tailed test, using that null hypothesis, always including the equal sign with the null. Step number three, select a level of significance. A way of demonstrating that if we find differences this large, we establish a cutoff. Well, then we're going to make the assumption that, the, the inference that, the differences that we've observed are not due to chance, but in fact are due to an effect. And I'm going to show you three ways that we might establish that level of significance and interpret whether our findings are statistically significant. Step number four, calculate the statistics. We'll have a little fun with this next week. I'll show you how to do some of the tests. One of the tests we'll do by hand. Another we'll use with Excel. Another we'll use JASP. Just show you different ways that we might approach doing these analyses. And then step number five, we're going to look at the findings and we're going to make a decision. And then we're going to write up our results in APA style so that we could present them. I'm going to give you some resources that you can use not only for this class, but also moving forward so that you will have some, something to fall back on when it comes time to write up your results. And that, very briefly, is what we're going to learn about with these five steps of hypothesis testing.